Welcome to the Capital City State Trail. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am coming to you today from the city of Fitchburg, Wisconsin, which is a suburb of Madison, Wisconsin. I'm starting this ride from the Dolly Conservancy here by Dunn's Marsh. Uh, the ride I'm going to do today is the Capital City State Trail, uh, which you're able to pick up from this starting location. We're not at the beginning of the trail per se. At the beginning of the trails over here, I didn't find parking over here. And I looked and saw that there was good parking here with restrooms and stuff. So this is a good place to start. The trail doesn't go very much further that way. The vast majority of it is east. So there's a little west that we're gonna go. We're gonna turn around, come right back past uh, Dolly Conservancy and head east towards the city of Madison. Uh, right where we're starting here, you can see a parking lot here. We also have a water fountain with a bottle filler, which is cool. Uh, there's restrooms over here. Uh, they have a view over this way. And uh, as you can see over here, we got some uh, bike tools and a bike pump, place to lock up your bike. So that's always good to see at a starting location. Uh, so we're going to get this uh, ride underway. So I looked on the other side of this sign. They show a slightly different version of the map. Uh, so we are here at the Dolly Conservancy. We're going to take this little connector trail and we're going to head all the way up this way toward ends, turn around, and then come all the way back and keep heading uh, east this way. I just wanted to point out that uh, we're past the connector trail now. So here's the capital city state trail. We're going to be heading east here after we go west this way. We're going to turn around. We're going to come right back uh, past where we are right now and then start heading east. Uh, there also there's a sign here that says we're entering the fee area. So so just be aware this is one of many uh, Wisconsin trails that requires a fee. Uh, as stated in an earlier video here, we bought the yearly pass, uh, so we're able to ride on these without having to worry about paying anything extra. Okay, so uh, early impressions of the trail are pretty good. It's nice and wide for a paved trail. There's a little shoulder on each side, which is nice. I like trails that are lined in the middle. It's even lined like a road, like we're in a no passing zone right now on the curve. I don't know that I've actually ever seen that on a trail before. That's pretty neat. From where we started, we're really close to a major trail intersection here. This is where the Capital City State Trail meets up with the Cannonball Trail and the Military Ridge Trail. If you put that all together, that basically means that you could spend a couple weekends up here because we definitely have a couple rides uh, to come back into this area and spend an entire weekend here riding new trails that we haven't ridden before. So I'm going to take a look at the sign here. This is very nicely done. started here we're currently here and we're just going up to here before we turn around but this is the, the Badger State Trail the Southwest Path the Cannonball Path the Military Ridge Path there's a ton of bike trails in this area
Okay, the All Trails route that I'm following seems to imply that we, we were either going over or under this expressway here, and then that the trail ends here. Based on us seeing the welcome sign, I'm imagining that the trail actually ends over here. So we just overshot it based on the All Trails map. So we're just, we're at the uh, Western end now. So we're just gonna turn around and start heading east. Just a quick insert here. This is the All Trails track that we actually rode. Uh, as you could see here, up on the top of this image, there is in fact a tunnel that goes under that road. Though, as I learned, this satellite view is a little bit older than Google's satellite view. So here's Google's satellite view. As you could see, the tunnel is completely gone and the trail that was there on the west side of Verona Road is now an off-ramp. So it looks like there's a couple spots here uh, where the trail shares the road. It looks like it's sort of a dedicated bike lane on this side here. And at some point, we're going to be hanging a left back to the trail here. Uh, so far, uh, the trail condition has been really good. Though I have been surprised by the number of hills. I didn't think that the trail was going to be as hilly as it is. Okay, so about uh, 3.5 miles from the beginning of the trail, uh, not necessarily at the point where we started though. Uh, there's a park here. Uh, you can see a porta potty here, so that came in handy. And uh, we're just gonna continue making our way east.
So just past mile marker 5.5, I believe, uh, we're about 6.8 miles into the ride so far. They have trail access parking here. Uh, there's basically nothing else here. They have a garbage can and they have a uh, picnic table, uh, but that's basically it here. Of course, they do have a pay station, uh, but it's covered up with a bag, so it doesn't look like you could even pay for the trail fee here. Looks like we got bike tools here. So right around mile marker 7.5, they have a disc golf course. But at this point, I'm not really seeing any indication that we're near a city, so it'll be interesting when we get closer to the city portion of this trail. Welcome to the Lower Yahara River Trail. Okay, so we're here now. Uh, we're gonna continue going this way. It looks like there's another trail uh, with a one mile boardwalk. That's pretty cool. Uh, going down this way. Uh, bikes are allowed according to this. They do have a pay station here. Let's check out the map on this side. Okay, so here's where we started. We went down here, there's that little park that's on a road. We continued through here, now we're up here, and now we're gonna be heading towards the city this way. Okay, so according to the sign we just passed, we're about four miles from downtown Madison. So uh, that should be exciting. So if you're not into porta potties, they do have a regular restroom right over here. It's actually not too far from uh, where we just were. So uh, sometimes a porta potty can uh, be good, and sometimes a porta potty can be bad. So usually we have better luck with uh, real restrooms. One of the interesting things I've noticed on this trail so far, we're about 11.4 uh, total miles ridden, uh, is the fact that at this point, I'm pretty sure we've seen more people on e-bikes than regular bikes. So uh, that's pretty interesting. I don't know that I've ever been on a trail where the majority of the people I pass are on e-bikes as opposed to regular bikes. So that's pretty neat. All right, so just a little map update here. Uh, this is where we started, way down here. We rode to the end and back, and we've done all of this, and now we're right here. We're getting close to the lake and to uh, downtown Madison, which is off map up here. So as we get closer to the city here, we just passed the Sheridan Hotel. You should note that the bike trail is right there at the Sheridan. So if you wanted to make it super simple, uh, assuming they'll allow you to bring your bikes in, if you have an expensive bike like we do, uh, that looks like it's a good spot. Also over this way, there's a venue, Alliant Energy Center. Oh, also the Holiday Inn Express and Suites, right on the trail.
I imagine we're going to get quite a bit closer, but at this point, this is our first glimpse of downtown Madison. You can see the Capitol building way out there. This is Lake Mamona. I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, so the City of Madison Traffic Engineering has this uh, sign here that's uh, obviously powered somehow, and they count the cyclists that go by. As of today, 929 cyclists have passed this sign, and they're almost at 400,000 so far this year. What a cool sign. That was a very cool sign. I've never seen anything like that before. So we are in the thick of downtown Madison, Wisconsin here. Somewhere over this way is the Capitol building, but we have stuff in our way. Oh, there it is. Peeking out. You can see that. We got the Lake Monona over here. Another guy on an e-bike just went by. Monona Terrace. There's a bike elevator. We're gonna have to check that out on the way back. I've never been in a bike elevator. So they got a two-way dedicated cycle lanes here and then pedestrians have to be over on this side. It's a very cool area here. Okay, so for a little bit, the lakeside loop and the Capital City State Trail, we're sharing the same trail. We've split off from that now, so we're not right next to the lake anymore. So we're getting real close to the end of the trail that we're following on the All Trails app. Uh, right here, we pulled right off the trail on the grass, but they do have a restroom right here. So that is useful. Way out there, you could see Lake Monona again. We were on the opposite side of the lake going down that way. And then the trail's back over here. We're just gonna follow it this way to where it ends, turn around and then uh, make our way back, maybe 16 miles to the car, cause we don't have to go all the way to the beginning of the trail.
Okay, so according to all trails, we are in fact done with the Capital City State Trail. Looks like it ends here. You can cross here and get to a sidewalk on the other side, but uh, that's not a part of the trail, according to all trails. It looks like it ends right here. Uh, there was a couple bicyclists uh, here that rode up to here and turned around right when they got here, so I'm going to assume that they know where the end is. So we've ridden about 19 miles. Uh, bike says 19.0 miles to get to this point. Now, if you remember, we didn't start at the very beginning of the trail. We went down a little further and then came back. So I'm guessing it's only about 16 miles back to the car. We're gonna cut right through downtown Madison again and uh, right by that lake. So now that I'm done with the trail and the rest is complete backtracking, uh, I'll say uh, I like this trail quite a bit. It's paved the entire way. It's really wide. In a lot of spots, there's uh, shoulders on each side, which is really nice. Uh, there's a variety of different types of views, uh, city views, country views, farm views. Uh, so there's a lot of different stuff to look at, uh, which makes for a really nice trail. Uh, there is definitely a bunch of restrooms on the way, which is good. There's a variety of spots you could stop in the city, which is also good. Uh, so now we're just going to start uh, heading back. Stop and look at this e-bike. Oh yeah, it looks like they have a variety of places you can get one of these bikes. So it says here, uh, by Trek, looks like they're using a Bosch motor on this. Looks like a mid-drive motor. They have the battery in a little cage here. These are the first e-bikes I've ever seen where you could just uh, rent one without having to go to like a bike shop and see what they have available. Uh, I've seen plenty of places where they have bikes for rent like this, but never an e-bike. So that's really cool. Uh, that's definitely a good way to explore the city here and this trail. You don't even have to have an e-bike, just rent one. So we found some pricing uh, for these uh, rental e-bikes. Looks like it's $5 per 30 minutes or $15 for full 24 hours. They also have monthly memberships uh, you could sign if you live around here and you're constantly on these e-bikes. Uh, that sounds like a, a really great opportunity to uh, check out all the trails without actually having to front the money to purchase one. So this bike elevator is definitely big enough to hold two Rad Rovers. If you squeezed in, you could probably hold a third. Uh, we're just taking it up to the top to see what that looks like. Okay, so we're on the fifth floor according to the elevator that we got off on. Uh, there's a higher level here, rooftop access. We're not allowed to bring bikes according to the sign there. 
if you were to take your bikes on the elevator and go all the way up, you have a perfect view of the Capitol here. It looks like it's at street level uh, to access uh, right up to the Capitol, so that's really nice. They also have a large amount of parking here. Uh, so if you wanted to start the trail from here and then uh, go on both sides just to uh, complete the trail, you definitely could start it from downtown. I imagine you have to pay to park in this lot, uh, but then you have access. Uh, you could just park on any one of these floors, hop on the bicycle elevator, go down to trail level and then access the trail. And uh, then uh, you can ride as far as you want on that. So it's really nice to have access to the trail right from downtown. And I uh, can't argue with that view of the Capitol straight ahead. Oh, well, that was a fun little side adventure. Uh, we've never uh, taken our bikes on a bike elevator before. Uh, now we're at the bottom again, right at basically water level. Uh, so and we're gonna just uh, continue to make our way back to our car. remember I think it was 932 bikes when we went past uh, now they're up over 1100 so just in that little time for us to go to the end of the trail and back they've had a couple hundred more bikes go by Sheridan Hotel we just passed had one of those e-bike stations right there at the hotel. They had, uh, looked like at least a dozen of them. So, uh, and their proximity to downtown makes it an easy jaunt. You could just, from the hotel, hop on a rental e-bike, ride wherever you want to go and just drop it off in one of those other locations, grab another one and uh, you know, ride it back to your hotel. So that's a pretty nice option.